Lucy here. Thank you and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming up over. Thank you to all my new subscribers that have come along and joined. Much, much appreciated. Um, today I'm coming on to show you the new collaboration between um, Nameen at Collage Type and Tanya at Tattoo Treasures. It is called Bluebell Woods. Um, there's a few ladies all working on it all through different days of the week. Um, myself will be every Monday throughout March and we'll show you the progress as we go. I will link everything you need to know down below to this video, um, including uh, collage types, Etsy and Nameen's, uh, sorry, Tattoo Treasures uh, Facebook page where you can find some freebies, her Kofi page where you can find some freebies that go with the kit. There are four different kits, two are in collage type and two are in Tatty Treasures Etsy shops. Um, the ladies links will be down below as well if you want to follow along with what they're doing. Um, so the, this is one of the, the journals, um, like what we would call maybe a standard journal. So you could fold the papers like this and pop them inside the journal. Um, and I'll just give you a quick flip through of some of the pages that I've uh, pulled out. Um, there's this one here with this beautiful stag um, here with the, the fox. These are lovely to, to write on so you could pop them in or even back one of the, the more colourful papers with that one. This one here is so cute. Now oh, I've got them upside down. There we go. All these bunnies. They're so cute. I love it. So that one is the one with the bluebells, obviously, because it is called Bluebell Woods. And this one here. Like um, a plate from a, a magazine or a, um, a gardening book or something. So it shows you all the bulbs and everything. That's gorgeous, that one. And again, this one here in the more sepia tones. This one's nice too. And this one here, which could be used, I suppose, for the front cover of your journal, the Bluebell Woods. And all these elements here, the trees, the birds, the, the flowers, the stag, the rabbit, um, they were all in the kit for fussy cutting. Um, this is a more like a collage page, this one. I pulled it out because it's I could use that portrait style um, which is what I need for what I'm going to create and these are portrait style ones so I've pulled out some of the background papers as well which are beautiful colors really really gorgeous colors sorry we've got some workmen out the front so they're being a bit noisy um, so these are the ones I'm going to use I need the portrait style but I will be using the journal pages for other things as well, um, making ephemera and um, tags and pockets and things like that. So we'll pop that back together. Let's pop them out of the way. Um, these are some of the fussy cut sheets. So we've got these beautiful butterflies. We've got the trees. And the smaller ones as well of those. There's all these beautiful labels. Bluebell Woods exhibition, these tickets, um, some fussy cut flowers, um, there are some stamps, I'm not sure if that's in the freebie or not, I'll just check on that. I do have some more of these um, background papers but in a smaller um, size. Um, there is leaves and plants and of course the, the animals as well. So yeah, loads to work with. So loads. There's benches, there's rocks, um, signposts, all sorts. So I'll put them across there. What I'm planning on making is what I'm going to call um, the Nikki Envelope Journal. So what I've done is I've got these uh, DL envelopes. I've got loads of them. So I've stuck six of them together using the flaps method just you know along one one after the other 
and folded them so it sort of concertinas out that way and then when you close it it will also concertina out that way so it's never ending <laughs> and what i'm planning on doing is i'll show you here first i've matted the first front cover here so this is what i'm going to use on the front um and i've matted this one here and i've closed down that pocket there and i've left this pocket open on this one so that's what i shall do i shall go through and i'll close this one down and i'll open this one and so on and so on because i think it's easier to get to this kind of pocket than it is in here so that's what i'm going to do i need to find some nice washi tape which i'm going to put down here because i don't like the blue so i'm going to hide the blue um at each of those uh, joins on the other side, I used masking tape on each of the hinges. So I joined a flap and then popped some masking tape down just to strengthen all the seams. And say it all folds back up together like this. And this is a flap of one of the envelopes, um, which I'm going to leave, I think, coming over the front. I'm not absolutely sure yet. I might take it off. I don't know. I quite like the idea of having it coming over maybe a button here and a, a string closure something like that but that's what I'm planning on doing so I'll be going through that and matting all those but you don't want to see that because that's a boring part inking and matting um, so um, I can still get to these to stitch round, which I will do um, and each one of them as they go on um, also made a little booklet to go inside the um, the journal so it just fits inside nicely i'm going to pop that in sew it in the middle and this measures see this is five and three quarters by four and just under a quarter four and a quarter the actual dl envelopes themselves are eight and five eighths by and three eighths so it just fits in there nicely and I've used the papers from the kit obviously this lovely just gorgeous little bunny on the front here and I've stitched all around and then when you open it here we have a little pocket here it's all been stitched round and matted some of the little fussy cut elements a little bit of washi tape here um, and the, this is the some of the elements that are in the kit so say it's signposts little labels that tell you this is bluebell trail we have the fussy cut trees um, there's some nice little vintage labels in there as well and the benches you can make up your own little scene so i just have to put a, a an eyelet in there and um, a little bit of fluff or something in there and this one i've left plain for writing and we've got the lovely white um, snowdrops coming up here and then this is left here this is left as a pocket this was made out of one 12 by 12 sheet of paper um and i've just matted it over with the kit papers inside this pocket here we have a tag with this gorgeous bluebells on one of the little stamps from the kit um and the little labels here bluebell trail and that just fits into there i've just stitched around that one it does go in there because it came out of there. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. That's it in. And then um, we have one of the, the front cover. Um, as I said, the, the page that I said you could use as a front cover, there is also some cards in the journal cards in there, which is the same image. And I've just used that here with a little bit of extra little paper from the kit. Um, a little label here and here. I have some deco mash here. Um, that's just um, like a, a webbing. Uh, this one here. And it's beautiful to use in your wood, woodland, but you know, botanical journals and things. So I've used some of that there. Um, this side here we have pocket. just popped a little bit of the writing paper here with some with one of the bunnies and a little label and then inside here is a one of the journal cards with uh, writing space
space on the back and one of the little seed cards and they just pop into there and then on the back here I have like a what would be an index page um, from the kit so that, could, that will just be sewn through there into the journal um, and one of the pages like this and I'll just sew that in so that's me made a start um, I will be back next Monday to show you the progress I've made and uh, maybe get some decorating done as I say there is loads of um, little ephemera pieces loads of uh, cut parts um, you can make your own little scenes yeah so I'll be doing something like that next week so thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time bye bye